We can make it, cutting it close. Deal of the day. Blue grass breaks, baby. Merry Christmas. Damn. You have the best girlfriend. It's such a good Yeah, yeah, Kirk's good. She brought the wrong girlfriend. The last box of Prism has been acquired. Early Christmas present to me. It would be cool to see that. 1300 cash. I'm not even a Utah 50. I'm still doing 12. That would be cool. Yeah, I'd try it. Cut the deal right then and there. Well, normally they break when it's redemption video. The push is actually, they break it by the arena. Yeah. Deal has been made. Sheesh. Salute Hoops guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, another day in the sports card world. Today is Monday, uh, the beginning of a new work week for everyone here. Hope everyone's having at least a decent week so far. I know it is only Monday. Um, as you can see from the first portion of this video, uh, yesterday, uh, well this past uh, weekend, the Chicago Sports Spectacular was going on again. Uh, we had gone over there, I think in September it was. So 
I think it's like every quarterly or something like that. Uh, so it was definitely a good time. A lot more people there this time around than they were last time. So there was a lot more footage to be had. Um, so for this video, we're just going to kind of go over my haul of cards that I picked up while I was there. And as you can see, we the girlfriend bought me an uh, early Christmas present. The Prism Cellos, so we'll be ripping those in a later video. If you guys don't mind hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, 365 subscribers on the Salute to Hoops channel. So we're growing slowly but surely here. And let's just get into it. Um, man, I really want to open those right now, but I don't want this to be too long of a video. So we'll have to wait for the next one on that one. Uh, so these were the first cards, uh, first deal of the day that I made uh, with the at the blue blue grass breaks table. Uh, definitely a cool guys running the show over there, and they got a good deal on all these. So we picked up some uh, Mo Bamba rated rookies, some Darius Baisley. He's having a pretty decent year this year. Little Mitchell Robinson prisms. I don't know if he's injured again, but I did not see him play at all last night uh, when the Knicks played the Bulls. Uh, a couple of Matisse Thigh Bulls. We got a pink optic and a silver uh, select. Lucas Simonic, red, white, blue. On uh, a normal, if DeMar DeRozan was not on the Chicago Bulls, I probably would not have picked this card up. Uh, it's just an NBA hoops, but it is numbered to 25. Uh, I've become a pretty pretty big DeMar DeRozan fan since he moved over to the Chicago Bulls, so I decided to pick that one up with this lot here. Silver Prism, uh, rookie Mitchell Robinson. Davon Dotson, which I just got because he's the Chicago Bulls. A uh, little Jerome Robinson. Not too sure what this parallel is. I'm sorry, guys. And then we got the Josh Green Italian Cracked Ice. Not a bad lot right there. I think I paid maybe 20 bucks. 25 on that one. I'm moving on. Some dollar cards here. You guys know me. Whenever I go to these card shows, I love hitting up the dollar bins. And this one uh, really did not uh, disappoint at all. Uh, as you can see, I'm on like a Mo Bamba kick. Um, he's been actually playing, playing pretty well this year in comparison to his last couple years in the league. So decided to pick pick a few of him up. We got some more rated rookies and a little silver prism. Sorry, regular prism base. Uh, we got some Malik Monk uh, rookie prisms here. Uh, people have been going crazy over him since he's having a pretty, uh, I guess you can call it a breakout year with the Lakers. Uh, I wasn't managed to watch that Lakers game last night. And um, was it last night? A couple nights. Was it like whenever LeBron got into it with Isaiah Stewart? Anyway, it was a good game. Uh, and I was not expecting the Lakers to come back and actually win it. So. Uh, we got some Kevin Herter optic rated rookies here. Also having a pretty solid year with Atlanta. Some Malik Monk rated rookies. Grayson Allen prism base rookies. And some more Mitchell Robinson prism base rookies. Nice deal on those as well. I think I paid, it came out to like 28. I ended up paying 24 bucks for them because I just had some singles left over. Now this stack right here, uh, yeah, these are all, <laughs> all these are Optic Shock Grayson Allen rookies. I think there's 18 of them total. Uh, they were priced at five bucks each, but I actually got a pretty solid deal on them. Uh, so I think I ended up, it averaged out to like two bucks each on those, which I can't complain about. But yeah, 15 Optic Shock Grayson Allen rookies. Uh, then we got uh, De Devontae Graham, Optic Shock, Rated Rookie, Mo Bamba Prism, uh, Mo Bamba, I think this is Hyper, Blue Hyper, and then some Mo Bamba Select Rookie, and then Devontae Graham Select Rookie as well. Moving on to the fun stuff here, guys, the slabs. As you can see, we got a pretty solid amount of them at this uh, show this time around, so... We'll start from the bottom. So I got the uh, Mo Bamba, sorry, Dime Bamba, uh, Bull Bull, 
SGC graded nine here. These were actually, this was actually thrown in the deal with all those Grayson Allens. And I ended up getting this for, for uh, $10, which I can't complain about. Definitely a dope bull bull card. I think he still has potential. He's just kind of buried uh, on the bench in in Denver, unfortunately. Uh, moving on here. I was actually make okay, we'll go out with these here. I was actually make, able to make a solid deal for uh, these next uh, five cards here. Uh, these are all PSA 9s, I think, minus the Mo Bamba PSA 10 Prism Rookie. We got Lucas Simonic, PSA 9, Red Cracked Ice, Devontae Graham, Optic Shock, PSA 9, and then two PSA 9 uh, DeAndre Aytons. And I was actually to be able to make a solid deal on these. So these were the prices as marked. Mo Bamba was originally supposed to be 50 bucks. The Lucas Simonic was 60 uh, 30 for the Devontae Graham and then 30 for both the DeAndre Aytons as well. Um, the guy that I bought these off of was pretty cool. And uh, I'm not usually the person to, like be in my phone checking comps like um, diligently or anything like that. But these prices seem pretty high. So uh, in total, these were supposed to be 200 bucks, And I ended up paying uh, 100 bucks for all five of these, which I'm pretty content with on that one. I think that was a pretty solid deal. Uh, the next three slabs were actually in the video. I made the deal for these. Uh, three Malik Monk uh, PSA 9 select rookies. And these were all priced at 20 bucks each. And we did a deal for essentially buy two, get one free. I got them all three for 40 bucks, which I can't complain about either. And these last three cards were essentially the, the last deal of the day that I made. Um, they were from the same exact guy that I bought these Malik Monks from. So me and my girlfriend were getting ready to leave, and I decided to take one more lap around. Uh, and he had some, he had a couple of these Kobe Whites in here. I mean, they're only NBA debuts, uh, but they're PSA 10s. So you got a green one and a, and a pink one here. Both were listed at 25 bucks a pop. And he realized that I'm a Kobe White fan and was like, okay, so do you want... Uh, the RPA as well to go along with it. He kind of brought this out, out of nowhere. And I had 80 bucks in my pocket left. And we cut a deal for 60 bucks for the for all three. So I can't really complain about that. Uh, I'll probably keep this around because I do not have a Kobe White autograph at all in my collection. So this will probably stick around for a while. Uh, this is also numbered to uh, 63 out of 99 cornerstones. So... Pretty sweet card, and it came in the one touch too, which I cannot complain about at all. And there you guys go. PSA 10s never hurt anyone, even if they are NBA debuts. And that's about it, guys. So that concludes this video. We it was a definite success at this this card show. Um, you guys actually saw that I was waiting in the autograph line too i was supposed to get dennis robbins autograph uh but according to the lady that was working there his flight never took off or it got canceled or something like that so that was a bummer i was going to show you guys the autograph i got from him but uh they said that he's supposed to be at the march show so i will be at the march show and hopefully i can get that uh, that footage out for you guys so i can't wait till then and Hopefully March comes soon because winter is horrible here in the Midwest. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I if I made pre made out pretty well here at the card show or not. And look out for the next video that's going to be dropping soon because we got some prism wax to open up. And we have also have some optic uh, cellist to open up too. So a uh, fun, fun couple of videos coming up next, guys. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.